Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 9.2, Mean Activity. Pause while you write section 9.2, Activity, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is understand averages. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. Mean is the sum of the data divided by the number of data values. The mean of the values 7, 4, 8, and 9 is 7. An outlier is a data value that is much greater or much less than the other values. Today we'll be starting on page 203 in your record and practice journal. Activity 1, finding a balance point. Discuss the distribution of the data. Where on the number line do you think the data is balanced? Is this a good representation of the average? Explain. So let's look at letter A and we're going to talk about the balance. So we have a number of quarters brought to a batting cage and we want to think of the number line as like a seesaw or a scale and we want to think about where it would be balanced so that it didn't tip to one side or another and we can see pretty easily that there's an equal amount of weight if those were quarters right on each side if the if if there were something in the middle holding it up at the number 4 so the balance is at number 4 and we can explain that by saying it has an equal amount on each side. Looking at letter B, annual income of recent graduates in thousands of dollars. So we don't want to go right to the middle of where it is because if we went to 45 then you can see that the stack of money, since these are thousands of dollars, so imagine that each of these coins is worth a thousand dollars, is the stacks are lighter on the right hand side than they are on the left. There's not as many thousands of dollars. So we need to move a little bit to the left. So we want to count and see how many coins are on each side, how many of our thousand dollar coins are on each side. So we can count and see that there's one, two, three, four down here, and there's one, two, three, four, five in this stack, and there's three here, so that's seven, and there's four here, so that's nine, and there's four in the middle. So the middle of our stacks of money is going to be right here at the 40. So that's our balance. And that's because that's where the middle is. So the middle is at 40. So that, again, it's the same thing with the um, numbers of quarters. That's where we've got an equal amount on each side. Letter C, you're going to need to do the same thing that we did in letter B on your own. So that's your assignment for this lesson. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete Part C of Activity 1 on page 203 of your Record and Practice Journal. Be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. 
Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.